Okay, so here we have a video of a horse walking and the rider following the longitudinal motion with their elbows forward and back. And it doesn't stop, it's continuous. <laughs> so we're gonna open our fingers and allow her to stretch down a little bit, but we're gonna keep her down and round when you let her stretch. Okay, so, so this is uh, two ways to stretch the horse. One is down and round where the nose stays in and that this would be down and round. Now she could go further down and she's still keeping a feel of the bit to keep her nose in. And it's a beautiful walk and her elbows are still moving. So the horse is <clears throat> still in a frame, just with a longer rein. And now we're gonna let her go down and out. So down and out is when her nose comes out. There we go, good. Okay, and this would be more like what we want in your free walk with the nose out. But you see, she's still feeling both sides of the bit, micromanaging the horse's head and neck. Now the hard part in the free walk is then bringing the horse back up. So we're gonna bring her up. So we're gonna shorten the inside rein and then shorten the outside. Shorten the inside and then the outside. So we have, yep, we have to be diligent. A lot of horses jig, but so, Right, so this horse is doing what we call backing off of the bit, very light in the contact. And then Michelle's fingers are closed. And if and when Michelle decides she would want her to stretch, she would just merely open her fingers and the horse would chew the reins out of her hands, just like we train the horse to do at a halt. And we do this at the walk and we do it at the trot. But in the free walk on the in the dressage test, it's on a straight line. So you have to keep the horse straight and stretching and marching from behind.